Marku chapter 1. The beginning of the announcement of Yeshua anointed, son of God. Even as it is written in Yeshaya the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, who shall prepare thy way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ye ready the way of Lord Yahweh, make his paths straight. Your Hanen became the one baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance into forgiveness of sins. And there went out to him all the Judea region, and all the Hierosolumitae, and they were baptized of him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. And Yohanan was clothed with camel's hair, and had a leathern belt about his loins, and did eat locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, There cometh after me he that is mightier than I, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. I baptize you in water, but he shall baptize you in Holy Spirit. And it was in those days that Yeshua came from Nazareth of the Galilee and was baptized of Yohanan in the Jordan. And immediately coming up out of the water, he saw the skies torn apart and the Spirit as a dove descending into him. And a voice came out of the skies Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him forth into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness forty days, tested of the Shatana, and he was with the wild beasts, and the messengers served to him. Now after your Hanen was delivered up, Yeshua came into the Galila preaching the announcement of the God and saying, The time has been filled up, and the kingdom of the God hath become near. Be ye repenting, and be ye believing in the announcement. And passing along by the sea of the Galila, he saw Simon and Andreas, the brother of Simon, casting a net in the sea, for they were fishers. And Yeshua said to them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And immediately they left the nets and followed him. And going on a little further, he saw Yaakob, the son of Zebedee, and Yohanan his brother, who also were in the boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and went after him. And they go into Kaparanahum, and immediately on the Shabbat day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as having authority, and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Yeshua Natharai? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of the God. And Yeshua rebuked him, saying, be thou muzzled, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, tearing him, and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this, a new teaching? With authority he commandeth even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And the report of him went out immediately everywhere into all the region of the Galila round about. And immediately, when they were come out of the synagogue, they came into the house of Simon and Andreas 
with Jacob and Johannin. Now Simon's woman's mother lay sick of a fever, and immediately they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and raised her up, and the fever left her, and she was serving to them. And evening having happened, when the sun sank, they brought to him all that were sick, and them that were possessed with demons. And all the city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many that were sick with diverse diseases, and cast out many demons. And he was not permitting the demons to speak, because they knew him. And in the morning, a great while before day, he rose up and went out, and departed into a desert place, and there prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. And they found him, and say to him, All are seeking thee. And he saith to them, Let us go elsewhere into the next towns, that I may preach there also. For to this end came I forth. And he went into their synagogues throughout all the Galilee, preaching and casting out demons. And there cometh to him a leper, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying to him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And being moved with compassion, he stretched forth his hand, and touched him, and saith to him, I will, be thou made clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was made clean. And he, having strictly charged him, immediately threw him out. And he is saying to him, See thou say nothing to any man. But go, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing the things which Moshe commanded for a testimony to them. But he went out, and began to publish it much, and to spread abroad the matter, insomuch that Yeshua could no more openly enter into a city, but was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter, and having entered again into Kaparanahum after some days, it was heard that he is in a house. And many were gathered together, so that there is being room no longer, not even the places towards the door, and he was speaking the word to them. And they are coming, bringing toward him a paralytic, being carried by four.